Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're gonna like it already. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload. And if you already are subscribed, hey babies, welcome back. So today guys, we are doing a long awaited video. I feel like I been, 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 been wanting to do this video for you guys. So we are going to be talking about how I manifested a six figure year um and also how i manifested my place so we're gonna get into all of that in today's video i also wanted to say thank you to everybody who got their seat for the tarot class we do still have a few seats left we have about a third of our seats left two thirds of our seats have already been sold we have a third left so again if you guys want to do the tarot class and you're interested i have a whole youtube video giving you guys a rundown of that so you can check that out but there are still spots left and there may be some still some spots that are going to still be left as we're going through into next week so if you haven't gotten your ticket yet don't be discouraged there are still a couple of spots left um, I think there's about 10 spots left um, but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that and I cannot wait to get into it and I will be having another tarot class I'm hoping I hope this goes great um, and you know just gives me some new ideas on how I can possibly fine-tune or improve and come back even harder next time so let's go ahead and get into this video guys all about how I manifested again my six-figure salary and also how I I manifested my place so let's get into it so first things first I think it's important to kind of mention how I grew up I feel like when it comes to manifesting so much of that is about your mindset it's about if you really believe that you can do the things that you say you want to do do you really believe that you can make a hundred you know like a hundred K do you really believe that you can make a million dollars do you really believe you can have a six-figure business do you really believe that you can be this this person this force this influencer this entrepreneur this head of this company do you really see and feel that you can be these things and for me you know that really started you know in my childhood you know what i'm saying i feel like my parents always told me that i could do anything and be anything anytime i wanted to do something oh i want to do gymnastics okay you're in gymnastics or oh, i want to do swimming you're in swimming oh, i want to do karate you're in karate i don't want to do it anymore i'll take you out what do you want to do next ballet you're in ballet like anything i was interested in anything that i wanted to do i was able to try it and that just kind of allowed me to feel like nothing was off limits it made me feel like there wasn't anything that i really you know couldn't do if i put my mind to it and if i really felt like it was something that you know was going to elevate me so i always knew that there were certain things that i wanted for myself now i'm not super super picky you know what i'm saying i'm really not pressed to be a millionaire um or a billionaire or anything like that you know i just want to be comfortable and i felt like 100k was a great goal i also felt like it was kind of a modest goal as well because I know influencers who are making, you know, who have been making six figures literally since they were like 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 26. I'll be 27 this year. I've been doing this for a while. Last year was my first six figure year and I felt like it was time, you know, for me to set the intention that I was going to be able to get the things that I felt like I deserved. So I felt like this was a good kind of beginner goal for me. You know what I'm saying? I know how much you can make as an influencer. I know that there are people that are making well, well, well into the six figures, you know what I'm saying? So I just felt like setting that goal for myself would be something doable. I felt like it was realistic. You know, I didn't give myself a goal that nobody had ever reached before, you know what I'm saying? So that's something else. Like, I think that it is a great thing that I've done. I think it's a really big thing that I've accomplished, but also I know that I'm not the only one doing it. You know what I'm saying? I have examples everywhere of businesses selling out, black women who are making very, very much, you know, black women who are paving the way for, you know, women like me to see everyone else being entrepreneurs, making their own money, being their own bosses. You know what I'm saying? I took a lot of um, motivation and inspiration from seeing other people do what they wanted to do and whenever I was working to manifest this life that I wanted for myself I knew for a fact that I could do it that I was capable and I also knew that if I wasn't able to achieve it right now in that moment that there must have been something else that was better for me that was something else that I felt like I was taught you know growing up that whatever is for you is gonna be for you if God has put your name on something nobody can take your name off of it so I felt like the things that I wanted um, I feel like they were going to elevate my life, the lives of everyone around me. And, you know, I feel like it was just going to elevate everything that I had going on. So why would I not make six figures? You know what I'm saying? If it's going to elevate my life and get me to that next level. So I really felt like I deserved this. I felt like I needed this. I felt like this was necessary, necessary in order for me to get into that next step. And when it comes to 
my place. I've manifested every place that I've ever gotten into. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm looking for. I know what I want. I know what kind of furniture I want. I get real, real specific. I, you know, create boards in my phone of my furniture and my decor and start to visualize myself living in my place. I walk around my old place looking and imagining, you know, as if I'm in my new kitchen and my new bedroom. You know what I'm saying? I mentally get myself in that space. Um, but you have to have an imagination, you know, to be able to do that. You have to be creative. You have to understand and know that seeing is believing. So I feel like when it comes to manifesting this lifestyle, um, and mind you guys, I do not have four Teslas. I do not have Birkins. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to Aruba and Cancun every couple of months. Now, I do travel. I do take very good care of myself. I do have everything that I want. But I want to make it clear that it's less about the dollar amount that you're trying to manifest and more about the mindset. Because if I wanted to make a million dollars last year, I could have if that's what I wanted to do. Um, but it's about your mindset. You know, you have to understand and know and believe that you can do these things even before you set out to do it. If you've never man manifested anything for yourself, if you've never manifested anything for yourself, if you never really believe that you could do anything you put your mind to, it might be almost impossible for you to see yourself in a place that you aren't in. And I always tell people manifesting money in physical items is the hardest thing because how can you tell yourself I'm driving a Tesla when you know you ain't in no Tesla? Like how can I tell myself that I'm in the apartment of my dreams when I am not? You know, but it's not about how, it's just about what has to be done. And if you want to manifest money, if you want to manifest a car of your dreams, a place of your dreams, you have to mentally get yourself in the mindset as if you already have those things. So... Let's get back into the 100K. So when I knew I wanted to make 100K, I already thought about how much I was making every month. I figured out how much I was going to need to make every month to make 100K and realized, is this doable or is this not? And if it isn't enough, did I need to add an extra stream of income? Did I need to take you know more hours on a certain job? Did I need to do more campaigns? Did I need to do more promotion? Did I need to collab with more people? You know what I'm saying? I went through a lot of trial and error in this journey, um, selling different products, you know, spending money, trying different events, doing things that I thought would be successes and realizing, okay, this isn't what my audience wants. My audience wants this. This isn't what they want from me. They want this. So when you're working for yourself, you really want to make sure that you are able to connect with your consumer and that you're really able to know what people are expecting of you. If you want to be a YouTuber, you know, you want to be consistent on YouTube. You want to figure out what your viewers want to see. For my first, I would say three or four years on YouTube, I was making videos based off of requests from my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I had you guys telling me what videos y'all want, what questions you want answers, what story times you guys want, so I could give you guys exactly what you wanted so you guys can help me grow. You know, it's just as important to make sure that your consumer is happy that your audience is happy that your supporters are happy because they're going to be the ones that are supporting you through this manifestation you know what i'm saying so when you are trying to manifest anything but specifically money you want to make sure that you are making sure that the consumer is pleased and that they are served and that you're not just trying to send out a bunch of bs or upload a bunch of bullshit so you can make the certain quota you know you want to put care and intention and love and passion and the right type of energy into the things that you want to do you want to show that you are dedicated by waking up when you're supposed to wake up going to bed when you're supposed to go to bed putting the good foods into your body loving yourself how you need to getting the massages going to the gym eating healthy traveling self-love inner child work whatever you have to do to maintain that mindset you want to do that and give yourself that maintenance and that love and that chance so again with the 100k mindset so i knew that i wanted to make 100k like i said and i wrote down a list of my 100k mindset and i've talked about this a little bit but i'm going to get specific about some things that i wrote down so i knew if i had 100k do this exercise with me now or just after the video think about how you would feel if you had that 100k or that tesla or that six bedroom home or that million dollar deal or whatever you want whatever you're trying to attract think about how you feel when you will make that how do you feel do you feel confident? Do you feel assured? Do you feel like you can do anything? Do you feel like you believe in yourself? You know, envision and feel. Put yourself in that moment and write down the things that you're feeling. You know, also write down what do you do to maintain that, you know, and how you got to that place. Do you think you budgeted your money? Do you think you kept track of your expenses? Do you think you saved money? Do you think you were coming up with new ideas creatively and always reinventing your business? Did you feel like you were, you know, collaborating with the right people and putting yourself out there and taking the risks necessary to get the return that you need? You know what I'm saying? Think about, okay, at the end of my finish line, when I get my hands on this, how am I going to feel? And then make sure you feel like that every single day while you're working on it. You know, I made sure I started budgeting more. I knew where my money was going. I was more intentional about where I was spending my money and why I was spending it in that way. I was making sure that I was investing my money into my business 
you guys know when I first started Pixie Pre Rolls, I had little little mesh drawstring bags with a little individual, um, you know, joint containers. And now we've moved up and we have, you know, these childproof cases that are definitely way, 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 way more expensive. You know what I'm saying? Hundreds of dollars for those, but it's a nicer experience for my client. And then you have this case that you can always use for your joints when you're traveling or, you know, for jewelry or for some money or whatever, you know, it's like, it creates a better experience overall. So consistently growing, consistently elevating. I now have an office in my place. That was something that I really wanted to do. I wanted to get a new place. I wanted to move. I wanted to not just make the money and sit on it. I wanted to invest in myself and enjoy what I was doing as well. So think about that mindset. Think about it in its entirety and get specific. And I also feel like sometimes thinking about all the things that you want can even make, kind of make you uncomfortable because you don't have these things yet. So I'm sitting here writing down about this 100K mindset. Do I even have $100 in my account? Like, do I even have rent? Like, can I even take care of myself? Like, it can be kind of frustrating to try to focus and put all of your attention on something that you feel is so far down the line, especially when you feel like, it's so contrasting and so opposite from what you're experiencing in that present moment. You know, it can definitely make you kind of depressed or make you feel like, damn, I'm really so far away from what I have, but at least you've taken the first step, you know, and that's something to remember as well. When you're manifesting, you know, you're not gonna, you might not make that 100K in the first month. You're not gonna make it in the first month. You know what I'm saying? It might take you six or seven months to figure out what you need to do and make those tweets. And then maybe in the last five months, you see your 100K then, you know, you have to keep believing yourself and keep being open to change and you also have to understand that you aren't just going to have 100k fall out of the sky you know you have to become a person who is 100k like if i want to be 100k bitch i gotta become 100k bitch like i gotta act like that and operate like that and handle my money like that and run my business like that and handle my friends like that i can't just say oh 100k and continue being the same person it's just not gonna happen so you really have to be open to change you have to be open for evolution and transformation and understanding what comes with what you're asking you know do you have to be more responsible with your money do you have to be more responsible with your time are you someone that works 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 and never takes days off does that make you hard on yourself does that make you self-doubt you know when you're talking about making money it's just as important that you're spending time resting and loving and catering to you which is why i took hella vacations last year you know where i was out of town for you know a week you know every time i went on a trip last year i was out of town for a week and i went on like five or six vacations so you know, you want to make sure that you're not just like, oh, I'm making this money, no days off, no time off. And whenever you crash from that, you've kind of undid all of the work. Now, you might physically not lose all the money that you gain, but now you have to work on your confidence again because you're doubting yourself because you're burned out. You have to work on rescheduling your time and your time management because now you are overwhelmed. There's too many things on your schedule. You have to work on delegating because now you need help. Now you need someone to take some of the projects off of your plate because you've taken on too much, you know. It's very easy to get overzealous and feel like, oh my God, I'm gonna do this every day because it's making me more money. You know, I've also had to learn, you know, what is worth it and what isn't. You know, in the beginning stages of my business, I was always stocking my business to the capacity. And whenever I had to ship out, I was always shipping out hundreds of pre-rolls. So that's me by myself, 12 hours all day from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, packing little cones packing pre-rolls it was insane it was nuts but I wanted to make the money I wanted to get the orders and it sent me into a space where I wasn't getting any orders for weeks at a time you know because I needed to rest and if you do not rest you will be made to sit on your ass so you might not be getting a lot of you know calls for business you might not be getting a lot of jobs you might not be getting a lot of orders because you did way too much in the first couple of months you know think about again the 100k mindset the person you want to be you cannot be trying to be a millionaire and be working like you're in poverty and on government assistance if that is not your life in your mind then you cannot be living like that and even if you are on government assistance even if you are living in a space of poverty that doesn't have to be where your mindset is you know there are people in prison who feel like they're not in prison because their mind is free. You know, I've always heard people, I've heard this several times from people who have been in jail or been in prison, that they never allowed their mind to be, you know, in jail. They never allowed their mind to be in prison. They read books and they learned whatever they could and they expanded and figured out how they could make the best of themselves whenever they got out of the current situation. And that's how you make best of any space that you are in. Whenever you are being low, you focus on how you're gonna get back high. 
and you make sure that you continue to carry that energy and cultivate that energy because your situation is real and you have to tend to your situation. You know, I couldn't have had my mind on 100K and not been worried about my current bills and my current debt and my current issues. It's like, yeah, that's cool, but I still have to make sure I'm doing work every single day to take care of myself. That's why I recommend, um, you know, you don't have to quit your job cold turkey. You can save up for six months before you start a new goal or save up for a year. You want to make sure whenever you have goals with money that you're being comfortable, that you're not doing too much. You know, I made six figures last year and did not move into my luxury apartment until this year because I didn't want to just raise my expenses just because I raised my money, you know, and that's something too, just because you start making more money, you don't have to buy a new bag every week. You don't have to go on a trip every other month. You don't have to spend all, now I did go on a lot of vacations, but I feel, you know, like those are experiences and I didn't get to travel a lot, you know, growing up. So I feel like now that I have the option to do it, then I want to do it and I want to see as much, of, you know, of like, as I can. Um, but, you know, you want to make sure that when you are making that money that you're being mindful with it. You know, I try not to buy something unless I can buy it three times. You know, I try to make sure even now that I have money in my savings and that just because I got money coming in, I'm not spending it and spending it and spending it. You know, you really want to understand discipline and responsibility and what it takes to upkeep the blessings that you're going to get. Because if you want it, you'll get it. But you have to be able to maintain it and keep the upkeep. Also, the same thing, you know, with the place. You know, when I knew I wanted a new place... I knew that I had to take better care of my older place because I would just let my cats tear it the fuck up and, you know, I just didn't really care about it. So I didn't really have, you know, I didn't have all of this energy to decorate it and make it beautiful and make it fantastic. And I know that a lot of you guys can relate, especially if you are living with people or if you're in a current environment where you feel like you deserve better. I definitely feel like when we are in that space where we deserve better and we want better and we want more, you know, we have to currently start to take care of what we currently have. You know, if you have a car and you want a new car and you're not getting your car washed, you're not cleaning out your car, you're not respecting your car, you know what I'm saying? Find out better ways to respect the things that you already have. I guarantee you that will allow you to get more things in your life. You know, respect your home, clean your home, save your home, you know, use incense, light some white candles, play some music in your house, bless your house, pray in your house. You know what I'm saying? Love the things that you have and show gratitude. Give to people whenever you can. That's another way I got this money, you know, by giving. If I ever had a friend or if I ever saw somebody posting a GoFundMe, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like last year I saw a lot of, um, you know, people who were trans or people who had came out or people who were artists or, you know, just people who were struggling, you know what I'm saying, to make money and pay their bills and have a roof over their head. You know, if I can spare $50 or $30 to a GoFundMe, I will. You know, if I have friends and I see them, you know, on the TL talking about what they're struggling with and what they're dealing with, if I can spare $100 or $70 or if I can book with you or buy something that you have, then I will. You know, I started trying to buy with smaller businesses and working with more smaller businesses and doing different and promo deals for smaller businesses i try to buy my art from smaller businesses as well you know what i'm saying so i really just try to pour back into people as much as i could with my money you know what i'm saying whenever i went to get my nails done or my lash done i always make sure i tip the people you know i try not to hoard my money i try to make sure that if i'm able to give then i do give if i can you know this is could be paying tithes at church or doing charity work or volunteering at a church or at a school you know what i'm saying it could be anything but pouring back into people listening to people's problems you know giving people advice showing people love having moments where you are connecting with people deeply you know what i'm saying like i said there's so much access that you can have as you have more money like you really have so many doors that will open up for you and you have so many more opportunities to do things you have more resources your resources and everything expands so i really challenge you guys to think about how gracious and generous and confident and loving and you know motivated and sure of yourself you will be whenever you hit that 100k or whenever you hit that million or whenever you get that job or whenever you close on that home think about how you'll feel in that moment and literally bring that to your current you know feeling and literally carry that out for as long as you can you know also set a goal and have a date you know what i'm saying i knew that i wanted to be moved in may and i had been thinking about moving in may for a really long time and i'm not gonna lie initially i was saying oh i'll move in february but i wanted to move in february because i was just ready to get out i was uncomfortable i definitely was moving from desperation i just was so ready to get out and i want to live my current place anymore i was willing to do anything to move and i had to catch myself and say no 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 
I need to save my money. I need to stack my money. I need to figure out what I can do and how I can make it work before I move. And because I didn't move in February, I ended up getting a five-figure deal. And it was my first five-figure deal. So I ended up getting a five-figure deal at the top of the year. And that really helped push my move. But if I would have moved in February, who knows if I would have got that deal. And if I did, you know, maybe I would have already been negative in my account before I got it. You know what I'm saying? So I really feel like timing is everything. And if you feel like something isn't right, if you feel like something is rushed, there's nothing wrong with saying, wait, let me take a step back and make sure that I'm ready for this. Even if it means that you have to be uncomfortable for a little while. Even if it means that it takes you a little bit longer to get to that finish line but at least you know when you get to it okay you're gonna be able to take care of it because i know for a fact that the responsibility that i have now to take care of my place also when i moved here i wanted to upload videos every day i wanted to take pictures everywhere like i have so much cool stuff you know at my place i have great amenities you know i'm in a gym every day like i try to make sure that i make use of the space that i'm in to the best of my capabilities and that is how you maintain your manifestations you know a lot of times we manifest things and then they kind of start to crumble around us because we may or may not know how to take care of it you know you want to keep that energy up and you want to make sure that you don't get into the new space and you're like well what's next and i feel like that's how a lot of us feel we get that we get that manifestation and then we're like wait what do i do now you know now i put all my energy into this and i've accomplished this what's next embrace your space show gratitude for your space love your space and do the things that you wanted to do you said you were going to do this you said you were going to do that get to do, get to it get to work you know what i'm saying start to live and thrive like you are in your new beginning because you are you know and be present be mindful focus on every moment that you're in focus on how you feel about those moments focus on what those moments make mean to you you know what i'm saying how important is it to you that you take care of yourself that you handle your business that you pay your bills you know that you maintain your independence and that you maintain you know who you are and what you're bringing to the table you know you want to make sure that you have priorities that you are prioritizing what is most important to you, what's going to make you well, and also what's going to, you know, just add to everything and just, you know, and just add to everything and elevate your life as a whole. So, yeah, guys, I definitely feel like manifesting um, is something that I have definitely been doing for years. You know, I've definitely been doing it for years now, and I feel like I kind of have it down to a science, you know what I'm saying? I really, had to, I really know how to get exactly what I want, but that doesn't mean that you're not human, you know? So I really want to remind you guys to give yourself grace, you know what I'm saying? Just because you know how to do step one, two, three, four, all the way to the finish line, doesn't mean that that's how you're going to do it, you know what I'm saying? You will experience all kind of stuff, setbacks, grief, loss. You don't know what's going to happen. You could lose a job. You could lose a family member. Your relationship could fall apart. There's so many other things that happen to you in life while you're working on your manifestations. You know, it's kind of unrealistic to have plans also to keep your mind together and to keep your mind focused and to keep you in that positive mindset. You know, and if ever you need a break or if ever you just take a step back, then take a step back. But understand that it's all about your energy. You cannot manifest when you are coming from a low, you know, desperate, uncomfortable space. You have to manifest from a space that is excited, a space that is joyful, a space that is grateful, a space that's motivated, a space that's inspirational, and a space that, you know, is going to give you the fuel you need in a space that's going to give you the fuel needed um, to, you know, really move forward and make some great things happen. So, yes, write out what you want. Prioritize what you want. Write down your goals. Figure out what you need to do today, tomorrow, move forward. Plan the next 12 months, 6 months, 8 months, whatever works for you. But get to it, you know what I'm saying? And figure out how you can start to live as a person that you want to be. Literally write down a daily schedule for how your day is going to go when you make 100K or when you make that million. What do you want your life to look like when you're in that new place? Are you going to go to the gym? Are you going to do yoga? Are you going to take better care of yourself? Are you going to meditate more? Are you going to cook more when you have a better kitchen? You know, think about how you're going to be making use of your manifestations and start doing that today. You know, start giving yourself the things that you are looking for. Um, so, you know, you can get that full, you know, circle moment at the finish line and you'll be able to say, wow, I was really looking at pictures of this for years and now I'm in here with all of my furniture and with all of my things and the car that I've dreamed of is parked outside and I have everything that I've ever wanted you know now what how can I take care of this how can I move forward how can I continue to be grateful and just continue to you know believe in myself because you're never done manifesting when you're comfortable you'll want something else okay you'll be dreaming about something else it'll be time to elevate to something else so embrace the elevation
and embrace the journey and understand it's not going to be a perfect journey. You know, we're gonna fall off or get confused or have to refigure or reconnect some things, but we will always get what we need when we're supposed to and you will never miss out on your blessings or on your gifts. So yes, guys, I hope this gave you guys a little bit of insight. Um, you know, just kind of helped you guys understand how important mindset is to manifesting and some different things that I basically did to kind of get myself into the mindset that I need to be in. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys. And I hope this video gave you guys some insight and some clarity, of course, as always. But, but yes, I will see you guys later. I thank you guys as always for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless.